So I just got off the phone and you're gonna need to hear this next clip to believe it. I call the Marion Prison. The federal prison where they're holding Schaefer Cox, who's a patriot political prisoner who didn't do anything wrong, he didn't hurt anybody, he didn't commit any crimes, he simply spoke out against the system and tried to rally people to stand against corrupt government. And they railroaded him in a kangaroo court and locked him away. Well, they just moved Schaefer into a CMU in Marion Prison. Now, a CMU is, is like an isolation experimental thing that they do. It's only in a couple federal prisons, and basically they lock people away just arbitrarily because they want to in these isolated areas where they can't access proper legal representation, they can't contact people except for under extremely limited circumstances, they can't have any physical contact with visiting friends or family like they can in the normal situation of the prison. And so here's this CMU that they've just thrown Schaefer Cox, the Patriot political prisoner. In fact, these are known for housing political prisoners that are speech advocates or activists so that they can shut them down. The goal is to keep them from speaking out, telling the truth, and communicating with the outside world. Listen to what happened when I just called Mary in prison to question why they locked Schaefer away in the communications management unit. Is this all right for certain inmates? Yeah, are you the guy I just talked to? No. Okay, well, whoever I just talked to told me to F off and hang up, and I don't appreciate you guys behaving that way. Okay, is this all right for certain inmates, sir? Yeah, it is in reference to an inmate. I want to know why Schaefer Cox is in the CMU. I can't answer that, sir. Why can't you answer that? Because it's not public knowledge. So... You don't you don't pay any attention to who's being abused in your prison. You don't do anything about your fellow man getting getting abused with no due process. You just kind of ignore it for a paycheck. Is that what this is about? We do not we do not put the inmate there, sir. He puts himself there. Don't give me that garbage. The inmate is a political prisoner. He didn't do anything to put himself there. You guys just put him there so you could keep him quiet and so you could isolate him because you're running a concentration camp just like the Germans in the in the nineteen uh forties. -huh. Can I help you with any other questions, sir? Yeah, I want Schaefer Cox out of the CMU. I want you to quit making excuses. I want you to start loving your neighbor as yourself and quit being a tyrant. Quit working for I'm terrorists. Right. I cannot authorize that, sir. Well, maybe you better. Who can authorize that? Let's let's ask that question. Washington, D.C. What's that? Washington, D.C. So Washington, D.C. gave the order to put him in the CMU? Yes. Who in Washington, D.C.? I, I have no idea. So, so people call and give you orders, and you enforce those orders, but you have no idea who? Yeah, I wasn't here when you put in there, sir. And so there's no record of this? There's no, there's no paperwork? There's no due process? No. Does, do, do you sleep at night realizing who you work for and that you just abuse people on a whim? Yeah, we're not abusing him, sir. You're not abusing him, but you're, but you're locking him away, away from any contact with the outside world without any due process just because some bureaucrat in D.C. told you to because they don't like him? I have no idea what you're talking about. You just said on a recording, because this call is being recorded, that D.C. told you to do that. Okay, maybe I said that. So doesn't, doesn't that have a conflict with your conscience? Are you okay with just, with just punishing people for no reason? I'm basically my job. What about when your job says to put people in gas chambers or kill innocent children? Then what? Are you just doing your job? No, uh, we do not have a gas chamber anymore, sir. You used to have a gas chamber? No, we've never had one here. Is, do some prisons have one? Uh, no. No federal prison has a gas chamber. Uh-huh. So what about if they install one? Are you going to keep doing your job then, or are you going to say no more? Where do you draw the line morally, sir, for doing what's right? Keep paying me. I'll keep doing my job, sir. What's that? As long as they keep paying me, I'll keep doing my job. Do you realize the statement you're making? I mean, that's akin to to saying, you know, that you're you're gonna murder people for money. I'm not murdering anybody. Sir. What What if your job becomes to kill people? My job will not become to kill people because I'm not authorized to do that. What if they authorize you to do that? Okay, sir, I gotta go. I got a lot of phone calls. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more phone calls because this is ridiculous. You guys get Schaefer Cox out of the CMU. There's no reason for him to be there. You need to step up and be a man instead of being a coward. You need to step up and stand up for what this country is founded on, for the Constitution, and stop being part to the persecution of people. When does it end? How much more will we take? 
How much more torture and abuse? Are you hearing the words coming out of this man's mouth? See, this isn't an isolated incident. We have a government full of, of officers and sheriffs and prison guards and officials that will do anything for a paycheck. America, we are becoming the third world nation. We have no law. We have no liberty. They can lock us away on any trumped up reason they want. They can torture us. They can kill us. In fact, it's been reported that some of the guards in the CMU told Schaefer that if the order comes down to gas the prisoners, they would have no problem doing that. See, we have a lawless government, a government of treason and terror, and this government has to end. This government must be stopped. You're not going to fix it by electing more people who think this government is the good guys. We just need to work it out. We don't need to work it out. We need to stand up to this government and work out liberty. We need to be the peacemakers boldly saying no more and standing up for the rule of law. We need the people across this nation to rise up and quit pretending that those locked away in prisons are there, there lawfully or that they've been given due process by our terrorist judges or that those being arrested on the street, harassed, extorted, and charged with crimes for every human indiscretion are the criminals when in fact our government are the criminals, are the terrorists, and are executing these crimes on the people of this nation every single day.